Okay, so in this video, we are going to be learning about another reaction of benzene, and this reaction is called the alkylation reaction. Okay, and sometimes um, with alkylation, it's named after two people, um, Friedel Kraft. So this is known usually as the Friedel Crafts alkylation. Okay, and given that we're doing the alkylation, we are going to be adding an alkyl group, so that just means we're adding an alkane chain to it. So the overall reaction that we're going to do is our benzene ring. Now to add an alkyl chain, we have our alkyl chain. So I'm just going to go for an ethane chain. But you need to have it in the form of a halo alkane. So in this case, I'm just going to go for Cl at the end over here. So I've got chloroethane because I want to add this ethane chain, um, or sorry, my ethyl chain to my benzene ring. So overall reaction, we're going to substitute that hydrogen with the ethyl chain, so C2H5, which is this part over here, and the other product is going to be that hydrogen and that chlorine making our HCl. Okay, so again, as you can see, this is going to be a substitution reaction. We've got two reactants, two products, and again, this is going to be electrophilic substitution. Okay, so somehow we're going to need to make an electrophile out of this. Okay, in order to do that, we need to again have a halogen carrier, which again is a fancy name for a catalyst. Now in this one, because we've got chloroethane, we need something that's ending in um, chlorine. So we've, I'm just going to go for AlCl3, which is our um, aluminium um, chloride. And again, this can be done at room temperature and pressure okay so this is our overall reaction we require a catalyst for this the mechanism that we're now going to look at is electrophilic substitution so as all the other reactions of benzene there are going to be three steps in it so we're just going to go over those three steps step one is always the generation of our catalyst i'm sorry of our electrophile so electrophile Generation. Okay, so our electrophile in this case was C2H5Cl, so we need to generate the electrophile from this. Our halogen carrier is going to help with this process and it's basically going to pull off that chloride um, over there. So we're left behind with C2H5 plus and AlCl4 minus. OK, always double check that your balance is charged on both sides of the equation. So this side, it's neutral. This side, the plus and the minus make this side neutral as well. OK, so this guy over here is going to act as our electrophile in step two. So step two is always our substitution where we use our curly arrows to show what is happening. So step two is substitution. So our benzene ring, I'll draw that top hydrogen in and we have our electrophile here. Curly arrows, always starting from our delocalized ring, going to our electrophile. We're now disrupting that delocalized ring and we're going to form that horseshoe in our benzene ring. Still got our hydrogen there. We've now formed a bond with our ethyl um, electrophile there. Okay, so again, benzene always wants to go back to its delocalized structure. This is unstable. It's going to want to go back to what it was before. In order to do that, it needs to gain two electrons. So it's going to gain it from this carbon hydrogen bond here. So curly arrow starting from that bond there, going back into that disrupted ring. In that process, we form our ethyl benzene and we form a H plus as well. Okay, so we formed our ethyl benzene, we've got H plus over here. We now need to move to step three where we regenerate our catalyst, our halogen carrier. 
so step three um catalyst regeneration so we've got a h plus from step two at the end of step one we also formed a l c l four minus so that's going to regenerate our ALCL3, which was our catalyst. And we also then form HCl. Okay. So in this process, we've regenerated our catalyst. We formed our second product. And in step two, we made our ethyl benzene.